Huge. I mean, last year when we played them at home, we didn't play good enough, especially, you know, going to that second half, they kind of got away from us. So really good. I think the defense, we had a really good performance, strong performance. I mean, you know, the offense turned the ball, turned the ball over three times, which I'm sure they don't want to do. But for the defense to be played good in the red zone and, you know, force a lot of field goals, only let them score one touchdown, I think was pretty strong. Still got a lot of stuff to clean up, but definitely encouraging. We won on division, so it's a great day. AB, you heard all the chatter in the in the offseason about you know how high power this offense was going to be and how they'd kind of carry you guys to wins for the defense to kind of take over the low when, when the offense kind of struggled to get going. What what does that show um, about what this defense is capable of? Yeah, I mean we take stuff like that personal. I mean obviously we know that we didn't play well last year. We knew coming into this year that was going to be the expectation. But I kind of understood you know how training camp goes when some guys can't practice. Offense is going to take a little bit of time to gel a little bit. So defense is going to have to play good so you know it proved today um it's just one of those deals where you know it's about being complimentary you know when the offense is playing well defense got to step up defense don't play well offense got to step up that's just team football and that's what we believe in so like i said it was a good win today you guys are used to the offense turning it over kind of at the rate that they are but it's right. also been kind of a situation where you guys haven't quite created turnovers the way that you have mm-hmm. are those opportunities there when you go back and watch the film these games are you seeing that yeah sure i mean i I almost thought I had an interception at the end of the game. Uh, I was real close to it. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those deals where when we on the sideline, we're always communicating, always talking about, you know, it doesn't really matter what the offense does. You know, of course, we want them to score points every time they get the ball, but we understand it's not going to happen. But when, you know, the defense, they get a turnover, we have to go on the field and expecting, okay, where are we going to get? We're going to get shots, screens, stuff like that. But we understand that just because they get a turnover and they got the ball, they don't have to score no matter where they get the ball at on the field. So, like I said, I'm pretty proud of the defense of how we handle those turnovers. It was super important. That was one of our team keys, just affecting the quarterback. Right, if it was getting in the middle of the pocket, forcing him to run or whatever, or also just mixing disguise and coverage, just changing the looks on him. Like I said, I think we did pretty well, but you know, still some stuff to clean up. But overall, you know, overall standpoint, I think we did pretty good today. Okay, but you guys have lost some games like this in the Colts since you've been here. How important I guess for us to win, maybe when it wasn't pretty, and and to get the get the two and one and put them in zero and three. Yeah, both both teams are built the same way. You know, it's one of those deals where nobody's going to quit in the second half. We know it's going to be a four quarter game, and we talked about that at halftime on the sideline. That no matter what the score is, if we're up, if we're down, you know, it's going to have to be a four quarter game. And I think the defense understood that, and uh, we did a pretty good job at the end with the two minute drill. So like I said, man, it's great to get a win. Great to be one and know in the division. Uh, so, you know, we've got to keep this thing rolling. we got the Jets up next. Do you feel like you got over any kind of hump with the Colts today? I mean, it's been a while since you guys have beat them here. I know you've gone to their house and won, but they have managed to pull out some of these games in your time here. No, I would say it's getting over the hump. You know, I think it's just having a great game, uh, great game plan first and foremost and just executing it. Uh, we understand what kind of team we are, especially at the end of that, in that Seattle game, uh, the second half. We kind of understood who we are and who we aren't. And I think we're just continuing to play to our strengths and, you know, kind of hiding our weaknesses. If we don't give up big plays uh, and make teams draw the ball, uh, we feel like we could be pretty dominant. We just have to keep it going. It's early, but how nice to have the rest of the division looking up at you guys at this point. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's good right now, but we understand it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's still early in the year. It's good to be 1-0, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, you know, we had to keep piling on wins, keep piling on wins, and, uh, you know, just take each team as, we, as they come by. Like I said, we got the Jets coming up next. We have to prepare as hard as we can to go up on the road and get a big win. Talk about making them drive the ball. How difficult was it to bounce back after that 17-play drive there to start the second half? Yeah, honestly, I think that was one of our, if not uh, probably our worst drive of the game. Uh, pretty disappointing not being able to get off the field a few times on third and shorts. But that's the big thing. We got to stay out of those third and shorts because, uh, honestly, I mean, being the type of team they are going to run the ball, they're pretty good running the ball. Uh, but we had to stay out of third and shorts to be able to get off the field. When we had third and longs, we was getting sacks, we were getting pressures, we some disguise coverage. We could do different things. So we could stay out of those third and shorts. I think we'd be fine. Kevin, there are some injuries um, on both sides of the ball, obviously, but Greg will just emphasize how big it was for the next man up mentality kind of going into effect, especially how big is that in a division game? It's huge. I mean, we had some guys come in and play some big time ball. Uh, we just talked about we just celebrating with Breon. You know, Christian goes down, doesn't know he's going to come in the game and make two big plays down in the red zone, forcing the field goal. So um, it's it just huge. You know, you never know when you'll get your numbers called. Uh, Dane got his first start today, played pretty well. Uh, it's it just stuff that we believe in. You know, anytime we're preparing throughout the week, we tell everybody just because even if you're on practice squad, you have to prepare like you're going to be a starter because you never know if, when your number's going to get called.